Hello, my name's Carol Peterson and um, I'm from the Hayward Knapp family of the Manang Ngadju peoples and uh, where we're sitting here behind me is the Stirling Ranges and I'd love to tell the story of our song line that uh, goes from here to Esperance and used to guide us in our walks for thousands and thousands of years. Um, everybody uh, of Noongar country know that the Stirling Ranges were metaphorically were the kangaroo people, the Yonga people and down towards Esperance um, there's the ranges there that were known as the Emu people or the Waitch people and uh, there was always a good relationship between the two clan groups and you know they'd have ceremonies they'd walk back and forth between each uh, clan group and then the day came one day when the younger people from the Stirling Rangers behind me um, they wanted to uh, go through a ceremony of betrothal for their daughter a beautiful young lady she was and um, and of course the wage people had a man that was available um, and eligible to to marry this girl and um, and because um, before the betrothal could take place they had to bring the young man up so that he could learn all the protocols and the customs and what foods you could eat you know there's certain foods that some people can't eat according to our totemic system and he had to establish a relationship with the with the um, younger people and get to know them and all their customs but for some reason he wasn't happy about it and he had his brother with him they, they allowed his brother to come up and keep company with him and they were talking about running away but unknown to them they um, they were overheard so the old people were very angry the old men because to breach this protocol of this very important betrothal and so these boys as they were talking they suddenly realized the old men were coming towards them look, sounding very angry and they had rattling their spears and so the boys knew they were in trouble they knew they'd been overheard talking about running away and so they started to run back to to wage country and the old men were following them and shouting at them and throwing spears at them and as the boys were running back to their own country, um, they were speared in the legs and the blood started to drip from those legs. And we see all that, those, that blood now is all part of that red clay plan that's that chilling up towards chilling up towards Bremer Bay. And as the boys kept running, the old fellows were throwing the spears at them and eventually they did spear them and killed them. And you can see their bodies now laying with, there's, there's two mountains down there. Um, one's called Mount Blank and one's called Mount Barron. But we know these two boys as Dakada and Wulgong. And uh, it's so sad that today the Europeans call those hills Mount Blank and Mount Barron, where we from our, from our clan group know them to be rich in stories and connection and and um, and so those two boys lay there you could see them very clearly laying back with their mouths open in agony um, and you can see them from Hopetown side you can see them from Bremer Bay side but um, but in the meantime three old uncles were coming wage people were coming across from Esmeralds to come and talk to these fellows and see how things were going for them um, but they saw these boys being killed and so they knew the younger people were very very angry and so they hid because they did not want to be caught up in this anger from the younger people and so they laid hidden there and today those um, huge rocks are still there they look like emus three emus and um, we call them weights nora and uh, you can actually see the, sh the feathers of the emus on the rocks, very, very um, significant and very spiritual when we go there. So we call that Waitch Nola.